They've commissioned scientists here at the University of Nottingham to look into the power of sunflower oil. Believe it or not, this could be the answer to our pothole prayers. Alvaro Garcia has been leading things in the lab. We are trying to do self-healing roads. So the idea is that uh, the roads can repair their own cracks before they become a pothole. Yep, you heard him. Self-healing roads. How's that even possible? Well, Alvaro tells me that the first steps begin with that all-important sunflower oil. It has to be turned into solid capsules. And to do that, it's mixed with water and something called alginate. Once that's dropped back into water, the tiny capsules of oil are formed. Are these the little capsules we're talking about? That's it. These are the capsules. Right there, being made in front of our very eyes. Absolutely. And it's almost instantaneous. This is the final solution? Yeah, yes. How does it work? Well, we just uh, take these capsules, mm -hmm. and they are loose, as you see, mm -hmm. and we just, we just put them in the asphalt mixer and they mix with the, with the stones in there. Once the capsules are added to the asphalt and stone, the mixture is laid, and it will look a little bit like this. Now keep your eyes on this crack. The idea is that when one appears, the embedded capsules will burst and the oil inside is able to dissolve and soften the surrounding ground, meaning the gooey road melts back in on itself, filling the crack. And after roughly two hours under the time-lapse camera, this crack does appear to have faded. And once our roads have been bound with this sunflower mix, will they last longer? Well, they will last longer because they will not have cracks. So five years, more, that's, that's, that's good, I think. The aim of Alvaro's research into living roads is that one day they might be able to fix themselves, meaning ideally potholes wouldn't surface. I've also heard of another way of future-proofing our roads and saving the environment at the same time. 